If you like video games, collecting, and game hunting road trips, make sure you subscribe to our channel because that's what we are all about. We picked up an incredibly rare game in this video on our trip, so make sure you stick through to the end if you want to see what it is. Got to our first stop, Toy Box Collectibles in Lacey. This place is really small, but it's really awesome. And Ryan and Jess have never been here. I'm excited. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Twelve seconds later. Well, actually, find this is be back in ten minutes. So now we're waiting in the cold. Over my shoulder. All right, Ryan and Jess, what did you yeah. think about that place? I liked that was it. Cool. Yeah. It was really cool. It was really cool. I'm gonna have to get underneath your butt. Unfortunately, he doesn't allow like filming inside the store, um, so we know. But it's cool. There's stuff to look at everywhere. Yeah, it's crazy. It's cool. Grand. But it's but it's really cool. Thank you. I can't. Buckle. It's tight back here in the back seat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So stuff we got from the first stop from Toy Box Collectibles. You can go first, Abby. I got a Ganon figure. Which is a awesome. Strawberry shortcake uh, glass. And then I got all of these guys. Little babies. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Secret of Mana, Dreams, Resident Evil 2 Deluxe Edition, Resident Evil Biohazard. And then I got a Complete in Box Game Boy Advance SP. It's in pretty good shape. Awesome. I got this monster's uh, car because I actually got to sit in it and I got a picture of me in it and I got a signature from Eddie Monster. Only that small. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was this small, yeah. Um, and then I also got Space Invaders for the Game Boy Complete. Very, very nice and minty. And the thing I got was Digimon World 2 guide. Awesome. Yeah. I don't think Adam got anything from the first stop. Right? But I picked up this little Donkey Kong riding the rhinoceros, which is amazing. I mean, he helped pick something out. Yeah. The GBA game. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. I got one game for my collection, Pro Sport Hockey. Adam helped me with my Space Invaders as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's at the front counter, was like hiding behind stuff, and that's Car Battler Joe, which is like a $200 GBA game, and they had it, you know, 40 bucks under, so. Pretty good. We got some PS1 games for the store. We have My Disney Kitchen. Sentinel Returns, Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, and Independence Day. And then uh, also for the store, we have Flipnik, Ultimate Pinball, and a Mario Kart. Another one for my collection, this is the Rugu Twisted Towers. We just got this one in the store, but it was factory sealed and I didn't want to keep it. So I was happy to find an opened one. And then a bunch of Game Boy games here. Rescue of Princess Blobette, uh, Yara's Revenge, Montezuma's Return, Iron Man, X-Men, Manowar, and Heavy Metal, Star Wars, Home Alone 2, uh, Dedalian Opus, Altered, uh, what is it, Altered Space, and then Power Rangers the Movie, and Castellian, which came with the manual. And then, got a Paper Mario with a ripped label, but it was a good price. Hit the Ice and Tiny Toon Adventures Wacky Sports Challenge. And then picked up one more game from the first stop, which he pulled out of the back, which is where he keeps the rare stuff that he doesn't want to just sit out in the in the store. And I think I'm going to save that and show it to you at the very end of the video. And it is crazy. You're not going to want to miss that one, so make sure you watch till the end. Super 
Super Smash, it's time to smash at yes. Super Smash. Yes. Alright, I gotta go to the bathroom, so... Okay, let's go! Yeah, let's go! Okay. Adam's in the car, he's gonna be coming, he's gonna join See, us. You guys, I got a different mask, yeah, you like it? Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, remodel. They remodeled in here. It looks so good. So the next stop was Super Smash. I only got one thing and it is Breakthrough for the Game Boy. This one, it's pretty smashed down here, but it was like $15 under uh, price charts. So I was like, eh, it's worth it. So I got, yeah. and we're gonna try to flatten it out with yeah. the heat press. Yeah, I'm gonna flatten it. And then I was the only other person that got something from that stop. And actually all I got were games for my Super Nintendo collection, which I'm really happy about. ESPN, Sunday Night NFL, NBA Showdown, uh, Tommy Moe's Winter Extreme Skiing and Snowboarding, ABC Monday Night Football, and then kind of to match Ryan's, I got Breakthrough and Wild Snake. Heck yeah. <laughs> and they're not the best titles in the world, but I'm just happy to knock some stuff off the list, and uh, we're getting down close to like 290 remaining, so on to the next stop. Store we've never been to. Elegant Octopus Games. Oh yeah. I hope they let me film inside. Hey, we're gonna show you guys what we picked up at the other stores when we're when we have to charge the car because it's really noisy outside. They, they have Pokemon. <gasps> to a store that we thought we'd never been to before called Elegant Octopus. Turns out it was a different store called Maple Bar Games. They just moved locations and changed names. Mm. And then I only got one thing from there just for the collection, Penny Racers for the Wii. Just never seen it before. But then Abby walked down to another store. Yes, there was a vinyl shop. I looked around Maple Bar. There's just not a whole lot for me since I'm getting out of Magic. Um, but there's a vinyl store called High Voltage Records. It was also a bookstore. Um, and I think they had a cafe in there too. It was really big. It was super awesome. I got some vinyl. Wu-Tang. More Wu-Tang. And then I got Cardi B. And then Notorious B.I.G. And then I also got um, this one, um, and that is XX Tentacion. I think I said that wrong, but um, I enjoy his music. So. Yay, let's keep going. Yay. Donut break. Next stop is 
this owls. Yeah, let's go. Ready? Next stop was Al's. I got Avatar for DS. <laughs> it has oh additional Nintendo DSi features. Look at the artwork on the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I picked up for the store the Persona Ooh, 3DS you. XL. Um, this one was a really good price, and this is the actual North American version. When you look on eBay, all the cheaper ones are the Japanese versions, which is the Nintendo 3DS LL. So they kind of had this priced as a Japanese one, so I was happy to pick that up. I made a mistake and I bought Twilight Princess, and then I realized when we got to the car that it was in one of those Hollywood video cases, so it had the right cover, but the back was fake and there was no manual, so it was disc only. Uh, luckily, we had a case and manual here, so I was able to complete it. And then one game from my collection, A Train, PS1 long box, just a game never seen. And then two more for the store. Uh, picked up two copies, two complete copies of Resident Evil, the long box version. And the Resident Evil uh, long box manual has so many typos on the back of it. <laughs> and then Abby. Um, I picked up Goshen the Giant soundtrack on vinyl. Eminem, Marshall Mathers on vinyl. I got Midsummer soundtrack vinyl. And then I got Olivia Rodrigo soundtrack, or not soundtrack, it's just her, her vine, or album, Sour. And then, after that, oh, we went, well, we got one, oh, yeah. we got one thing from there, but I didn't bring it in. Um, we got one Pokemon card. It was uh, Giovanni's uh, Magic Card. So, mm -hmm. yeah, or it shows multiple Magic Cards. Yeah. Nice. On to the next. Yeah. They're gonna try to find parking. We are, we're pretty close to the, the new pink gorilla. Yeah. So the three of us are gonna walk down while they try to find some parking. Got the tripod so I can film that video with Cody. And it's gonna be fun, but we gotta, we gotta walk a little ways. This is Seattle. Where's the puddles? It was in the... <laughs> He was the opening for the Tenacious D concert. Oh, is he like the clown guy? Yeah. Oh. I see. I think it's... No, it's not that one. That is pink. But I don't think that's Pink Gorilla. It's down a little farther. We're here, the new pink gorilla. Ooh, a puppy. Yay, new pink gorilla.
the new pink gorilla is awesome i had jess film for me in there because there wasn't a lot of time but hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing that and now we're going to the other pink gorilla past a certain time because that is for that lot it's not for this oh. yeah let's go yeah. Did you like the last pink gorilla? Yeah. yeah. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Smaller yeah. than I expected, but still cool. It definitely looked bigger in the videos that I saw. Yeah. But I think that it was laid out really nicely and it was really awesome. <laughs> and now we get to walk to the other pink gorilla after finding a primo parking spot. Seattle's so cool sometimes. Like I hate driving around and trying to find parking, but like once you're walking, it's great. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't want to live in a place like this, so it's too too condensed. No. Nope. It's like, it's the reason I would never want to live in Portland. Yeah. There's just, there's too much, like there's no, there's no like, there's no quiet. <laughs> and I like it. Right, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got that on camera. That's awesome. <laughs> Here we are. Yay! Ooh. It's cold outside. Oh yeah. Some Neo Geo games. Gum coping? Hi, Kelsey. Hi! <laughs> so we just left Pink Gorilla, got some stuff, we'll show you guys. Alright, so we're talking about the newest uh, Pink Gorilla location. All I got were these uh, <laughs> Game Boy cases. I almost got a Mega Man game, but I didn't. It had no manual. It had no manual, so I passed on it. <laughs> yeah. This was the location that uh, I ended up filming a video with Cody, and that's going to be coming up. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to be posted, but that is going to be a bonus video coming up soon. Um, since I was mostly busy filming that with him, I didn't get to look around too much, but I did grab one manual for the store, and it's Goemon's Great Adventure. It does have a sticker on the back. Um, other than that, it's pretty good. When I threw it into the back of the car, the manual kind of got creased a little bit on the front cover. I don't know if you can see that. It's not bad and I'll put it through the thing to flatten it. It should be fine, but that was the only thing I picked up from there. And then Abby got one. I got Roombo First Blood. Nice. <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Um, I had never seen it before, but this looks phenomenal. Sounds amazing. It is. You play as a Roomba, at Roomba and you get to kill people and clean up the mess. So after we hit up that new Pink Gorilla location, which was awesome, we headed to the uni University District location. But where did you get that at? Um, <laughs> they just saw the footage. Oh, yeah, that's Pink right. Pink Gorilla number... Pink Gorilla so number University two. District. The university. We also got this for the store. Oh, it's the so little cute. welcome Kirby sign. It's adorable. Um, they have, like, a lot of the remit stuff we have, but it's usually, like, most of, like, different stuff than we have. Mm -hmm. Um... I'll have to try to find out what this is. Thank you. But this is like a blind box. There's other ones with words and stuff too. Sorry, I'm making noises over you. Uh, oh, and this is my from my burping money from TikTok because I we got commissioned to do a TikTok for somebody. 
Um, and this camera is cool. I got two little bags, um, like little reusable bags with all of me on them. So cute. And these, yeah, they're adorable. <laughs> they're super duper cute. And then I got three Pokemans. We have a three for 10 area. So I got this one, a Celebi, and this guy. And then I don't think I got anything else from that location. I got stuff. Uh, Abby actually got these for me. Uh, the, the pins. The pins. I was like gonna buy just the whale my, for myself, but then she was like, "I'll get you some," and so I got some. Uh, she got. Yeah. I also got some of the Pokemon. Like I got a little Voltorb. He looked really cute. Um, just got a Jolteon. Jolteon. Hell yeah, looking cool. And a little tiny oh, Weezing. He looks so dope and detailed. <laughs> I love him. Um, I also got a couple empty boxes from the back room. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Should I not say that? They, they were very nice to let me pick these out. I got Gremlins and Tom and Jerry. Pretty darn cool. And another game I got was an Ape Escape game. I didn't have this one. Uh, Pumped and Primed. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bam. And then I picked up this little 30th Kirby, 30th anniversary, like little rubber figure. Um, and then I also picked up this, it's Diamond Trust of London. It's a DS game. And this is like a, it was like a Kickstarter thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, just, I've never seen it. I thought it was cool. Um, and then the only game I bought that was like out front was B.O.B. for the Super Nintendo. It's uh, one of the Super Scope games. They had this one actually behind the counter, like playing on like a Retron or something. Mm, um, cool. And then everything else I got was from the back room as well. Kelsey was nice enough to let us go back there and look at their wall of like empty cases. Oh man. So I should have got that. Picked up the box for the little like Wonder Swan wireless adapter thing. Yeah. <laughs> we have one at the store, so I just grabbed this so that we could complete it. Um, and then for my collection, I picked up the box for the Playmobil Laura game, which yeah. we just had and sold. And it's Aww. the first and only time we've ever had the game. So I'll have to yeah. track one down. Worms World Party, which this box is like super minty. Yeah, it does look And nice. then three boxes out of, they only had like seven Super Nintendo boxes in the back and I needed three of them for my collection. So I was very happy to pick up WWF Super WrestleMania, which I passed on at Super Smash. And then Capcom's Soccer Shootout, and then PGA Tour 96. So while, I don't, did Abby mention the video that she filmed? Uh, I don't so, think so. While we were at that location, um, Abby filmed a video with Kelsey, and that is another bonus video that's gonna be going up pretty soon. Uh, so make sure you subscribe if you'd like to see that when it comes out. Heck yeah. We're walking up to Al's now. Uh, we went to the other location. Now we're walking to the other one and it's gonna be awesome. And then we're gonna get some food. We are all really hungry. We haven't had much today. Right, Abby? Right. Right? I'm making it nice. No, Stabby's coming out, guys. So Al's and then food and then drive all the way back home. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go to Al's. Yay.
just left Al's. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be our last stop for today because it's getting really late. And we hungry. Yeah. All right, guys, our last stop was at two stores, technically. One was another location of Al's, and then they actually just opened another store across the street, what was called Lo-Fi, or Hi-Fi Lo-Fi. Yes. So we didn't film at the second one because we were only in there for about five minutes before they closed, but we got some stuff from each. Okay, so from Hi-Fi Lo-Fi, I got this, which is just the Billie Eilish tape. And then from Al's, I got these two knife pins, The Boy and the Beast, and Burn the Witch. And from Hi-Fi Lo-Fi, um, they have a lot of cool plushies there. I got this uh, mini mushroom, the tiny one from New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Uh, I've never seen a plushie of this. It might be bootleg. It just says like made in China on the side, so. But it's really soft and I like it. It has a little suction cup too. And then this is a plush from Phantom, yeah, Phantom Hourglass from 2012. Ooh, nice. Super cool as well. That is cool. And then I didn't get anything from Hi-Fi Lo-Fi, but from Al's. Um, you guys, as you guys saw in the video, they're not just a video game store. They have all sorts of stuff. And I picked up the Elgato HDS, uh, HD60S. I actually have one of these, but since we have moved to our new house, I cannot find it. And I've been using the older model, which is like the first model that even has an HDMI port. So I upgraded to this one. I was going to buy one of these from Best Buy anyway, so I picked it up there. One more game from my Super Nintendo collection, NCAA Football. And then one more game for the store was Tecmo Cup Soccer, which is a pretty hard to find game. And this one is in really, really nice condition. So that was the last stop. Yeah, this one. Uh, so this this Owls was the one I actually got the Magikarp card from the Maple Story or whatever the Maple Place was. Uh, I got a uh, Here Comes Team Rocket card. Yeah, that was holographic. Yeah. All right. So this road trip was a lot of fun. Um, I wish everyone could have gone, but yeah. I'm happy that we were able to go anyway. And so I saved the best for last here. Uh, this game is one that um, we got from Toy Box Collectibles, and he had it in the back room. Uh, he had this and an Earthbound back there, and he said that these are the ones he doesn't want to just leave out on the shelf. Um, so I already have this game in my personal collection. I have not, I haven't compared it, but I'm pretty sure that they're in basically the same condition. So we will be selling one of these, and that is Star Fox Super Weekend for the Super Nintendo, which uh, if you guys don't know, uh, I believe it was 1991 or 92, Nintendo held a Star Fox competition in the United States, and um, I did a TikTok and a YouTube short like all about this. I was showing my copy and telling the story, so if you guys want some more in-depth info about that, you can check that out. But um, these were used in the competition and then they were both given away to the contestants and I believe that you could also order them from a like one specific Nintendo Power after the competition. I'm not 100% sure on that. Whatever I said in the TikTok is correct. I'm just kind of trying to remember that. Um, but this is really, really rare. Um, don't know exactly how many there are, but it's, it's you know, it's got to be less than, than a thousand easily. Um, so it is the not for resale version. And then there's also, I believe an extra level on this cartridge that is not in the regular version of Star Fox. Yeah. So for any like hardcore Super Nintendo collectors, this is, you know, one of those like Holy Grail type things. I was super happy to be able to find this. Didn't expect to get anything of this caliber on the road trip. And uh, that being the first stop was like really, really awesome. It kind of like set the tone for the trip. And I was like, even if I don't find anything else, I already got this, so it's already been worth it. Yeah. And it was super awesome. Ryan is the owner of Toy Box Collectibles. Not this Ryan, <laughs> but the other Ryan. Um, he's super awesome, super nice. If you guys were ever in Lacey, Washington, you should definitely check that place out. Yeah, cool. Um, it's very cool. Unfortunately, we couldn't film in there, but it is crazy. Like you look anywhere in the store, there's a million things to see. Oh, yeah. It would take 10 hours to look at everything in there. It's a little cramped. It's a little like old looking, but like, it's so cool. Mm. Like yeah. it feels like an old shop from like the nineties, like just the way it feels around there. It's freaking cool. It, I love it. It's so awesome. It is super awesome. So you guys should definitely check it out. And thank you to Ryan for Star Fox Super Weekend. Yeah. You guys should have seen almost everything now and hope hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i think uh we'll end it
I think we'll end it so we can just kind of eat and chill and then head home. Yeah. So thank you guys for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming on this road trip with us. It was a lot of fun. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Where are we, Abby? We're at, um, I think it's called Kathy Lamb Hot Pot. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. I can't focus on this. Ask somebody else questions. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, what is Hot Pot for those who don't know? It's uh, like a soup, but you add your own ingredients and things that you pick out into it. And we did a half and half, both like normal and spicy. And then do you want so far, it's delicious. Yeah. So that's the spicy side. That's the normal side. We got some chicken. We got some noodles. We got some some mushrooms, and we got some there's some meatballs and some garlic beef. And that's pretty much what you do. You everything gets cooked up in the middle there, and then you kind of just dish it out, and everyone everyone kind of shares, and it's awesome. Okay. Cue the outro.